Hi there, and uh, welcome to this educational video on uh, the uh, old Polaroid SX-70 cameras. Uh, so the SX-70 cameras were some of the most um, easy automatic cameras that were available by Polaroid. Um, they were pretty simple. The uh, battery that worked on the film and everything else was located inside of a pack of film that you would buy, uh, which you can still buy that that uh, that film either expired and uh, not my complete suggestion unless you want some sort of artistic look and also possibly have uh, bad Polaroids come out from, but you can buy the expired stuff from uh, eBay or you can get uh, Impossible Project Film from, uh, I think it's impossible-project.com, I might be wrong there. Uh, but you can buy uh, Impossible Project Film for the, uh, for the SX-70. Now, they're identifiable mostly by their bodies. They always seem to have this, this look with the kind of T-shape right here. You know, they'd, they'd come up right here and then kind of end and fold down. The other way to absolutely identify them is by pressing this lever down you press the uh, you're pressing the lever down so that you can get it into the where the film goes and uh, the film uh, film would go right there you just push it right in and uh, you wouldn't have to worry about anything else with the film but if you look uh, if you look right here uh, use SX-70 film and flash bar and the fact that it says SX-70 film makes it an SX-70 camera. Now, uh, uh, I would point out that no other camera made, except for the SX-70 cameras, uh, used SX-70, which is why I call it SX-70. Now, the film would go in there, and, uh, and it would eject through these roller bars um, right here through this. The roller bars would actually take the chemical jelly that was in the uh, like the white tab that you see at the bottom of uh, SX-70 film. Uh, it would actually <coughs> sorry uh, it would take the developer or the developing uh, chemical jelly that's stored in there and it would spread it through the inside of the film so that once you once you clicked on the uh, shutter uh, button, the trigger, uh, the camera would uh, open its shutter, the picture would be uh, put onto the film, and, uh, and then the developer chemical, uh, that jelly would be spread on, and I would suggest that when you do have film come out, uh, you leave it kind of uh, not as exposed to the sun for a few for the first like five seconds and uh, then after that it usually just takes a, a few minutes usually up to like 10 minutes and then it's uh, then it looks pretty good now one thing to point out is that <coughs> there are a uh, bunch of different uh, uh, settings on SX-70 film uh, it varies based on the SX-70 but for the most part, that's always going to be the same with the film. Uh, buttons usually right there, uh, whether it be like a Pronto or a Plus or a Rainbow, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, generally, they also have uh, a rotating barrel for the lens, and uh, so you can change focus a bit. If you can see right there, um, there's actually numbers and shows meters on this one on the Pronto. Uh, you also have a, uh, a piece right here which uh, I'm hoping I can let me put it on focus. Uh, so you've got that right there and you can actually uh, move it left to right just like the barrel and that's for uh, adjusting for exposure so you can you can make your pictures your photos brighter or darker. Uh, now the next thing is that to say is that uh, most of the most of them actually had external flash. Now you either had a battery or a single use pack like this, 
or you had an add-on like this, uh, and you'll see it has the same pins, goes in right there, and this was electronic, and it would have AA batteries, on off, and there. And that's about it for SX70 cameras. Thanks.